Hello, 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 and welcome back to another trek through the dungeon. So I've been back and forth about what to do with this uh, Meowth that character of mine. Uh, levels 9 through 12 happened in the absence of uh, recording on account of the fact that my recording all failed. Um, and in that time I had a lot of near misses, near death scenarios. Got a lot of good stuff under my belt too, and actually managed to make him a little bit more powerful. I just picked up Stone Arrow. And it got swiftness a bit earlier than that, and I still am lacking any good damage spells for tier 2. But I feel bad that you guys would miss out on all of the in-between. So what I've decided to do is, well... Bah, there we go. What I decided to do is just start a new one. There, There's something simple enough about that. I've been playing a lot of Diablo 3 lately, and that's been, uh, you know, destroying my tactical play as dungeons. So I should probably try something a little bit more. Reasonable. So we're going to call this guy Mew, Mew, in keeping with the intellectual piece of this, and he is obviously a psychic wizard warrior. And uh, I'm going to try to do exactly what I did before. There's no reason to change a single damn thing. Uh, conjurations, stealth dodging, we'll turn off stealth at 5, and uh, we, we should focus uh, conj obviously, well not obviously, but that's what I'd like to do. In fact, realist, really what I should do is turn off dodging even until... You know, that's what I'm going to do. I'll try to remember, but I'm going to just, just Conjurations. Until my damage output is sufficient that I can actually take down my targets with magic darts. Reliably. Uh, what's the point of being more defensive? Holy crap, that was painful. Lost 5 hit points and that was almost all my health. Hopefully they won't come in through that door. Innate stealthiness and swiftness are the only reason I survive. Alright, what's next? Rats, I get instant kills. It's not true, but I wish it was. You are going to definitely win this fight. Definitely. There we go. That's why I didn't fight straight up. I kept backing away. Alright, level 2. That means blink. I should definitely take blink right away. Repel missiles I can wait a little bit longer on. Yes, technically imps with or imps, kobolds with darts are deadly, but I need the 2 mana that I would give up to avoid a dart much more than I need the security. And I refuse to lose a spell level or start side training spell casting this early on. Uh, when I'm going to want Conjure Flame and then uh, Mephitic Cloud up. Not, sorry, con uh, Mephitic Cloud then Conjure Flame up. Uh, eat. Go right ahead and eat. Down the floor. Pull back. Thing about being weak, always, always know where your escapes are and you stay in such a way that you can reach them. That's how you survive. Alright, uh, intelligence. We're gonna definitely train intelligence first. Um, Fit of Cloud is the obvious first choice. Condor Flame is not available yet. It will probably come from the level up. Oh shit! Uh, Terrence is a bitch. We're gonna run for it. Got out. Excellent. Different staircase. Plan B. I can definitely outrun Terence effectively, but I need to be cognizant of the fact that I can't take him in a fight right now. Without a without a spam cast, forget spam cast, but without a reliably castable mythic cloud, I can't get a confuse. Even with a confuse, his armor is tanky enough that I won't be able to take him out in five or six magic darts, and that's all that MP I'm probably going to have time for. We'll continue to train conjurations against lesser foes. Oh shit! The worker ain't got a second space of movement. That was unexpected. Uh, that was fast enough that I feel good about trying another real quick. Yeah, why not? Let's do one more. Yes, I did misspell that on purpose, for those of you who saw what I called it. Uh, oh my god, that's an interesting start. I wonder if you guys have darts. You do. Well, I already know that darts can nearly kill me in one turn, so... Let's just carefully keep you guys waterlogged while I take you out. Ah. 
Most characters would ignore sim a single dart at this early in the game. Not me, though. I'd die from a single dart. God, this is a painful start. I mean, it's not like Orcish Oriflame, uh, Bailey, but it... Oh, fuck me, are you kidding? Alright, unless the bat gets the... Well, this is bitchy. Probably one of the only times diving down a floor from the starting squares has ever been a possibility for me. Much less one that was a necessity. Forget about it being a necessity. But here we are, and uh, that, that move did in fact make me survive. I was gambling that the bat would, because it's got bat movement speed, not stay adjacent to me too long. I can't take an ooze on, so I just gotta run away and hope I don't get bottlenecked. Good. have the right instincts with my cat, I'm sorry, with my wizard. I know how little damage they do early on, and just how pathetically weak this feel it is. That combination means I should basically take full advantage of running away from things. More so even than a Spriggan would take. Like, that last death I had last game wouldn't have happened if I had been uh, properly cautious. I didn't have to go into melee with that ant. There was no compelling reason to do that. I just did it anyway. Alright. As soon as you're not so nauseated, please finish your food. Poke, run. Come on. I want him to be scared and running away before I chase him down. But at the rate I'm going, he's going to regenerate health faster than I want to deal damage. There we go, got him. And yeah, when he's running away, he's obviously much less of a threat to me since he's not trying to hurt me. Alright, that's the floor. Next floor. Ijib. Uh, Ijib, you've got this. You clearly have this. I'm just going to run away from you. He doesn't have a wand or anything, so he's not able to damage me, but that dyed orcish armor must be giving him something good because he's not taking significant damage either. Blink and Mephitic Cloud. Gotta wait on the next spell. Should be about 3%, 2.7%. Perfect. It's very consistent. Uh, never wear an unID'd amulet long term. Amulet of Faith on Vehumet is actually not a bad choice. I will obviously, well not obviously, I intend to go Vehumet because it'll rapidly get me to the point where I get the, uh, the stuff I need and I have no real penalty in losing Faith from Tier 6 as I will rapidly recover and then once again be at full piety. It's not like I will lose my abilities probably. I probably won't, I probably won't even lose my passive abilities is what I'm trying to say. I doubt my, my piety will go down that low. Don't be in melee with things. What are you, fucking suicidal? Alright, there we go. If I were to train somebody to play uh, Crawlwell, and they were playing this kind of character, I would sit over their shoulder, and every time... By the way, that was Sigmund, in case you missed it. I did not feel like dying just now, so I'm just going to give him a wide berth. Uh, I would sit behind them, and any time that they did something dumb like walking up to a, uh, walking into melee with a creature they didn't have to melee as a wizard early on, I would say, bang, you're in the head with a hob, uh, bang, the hobgoblin hits you in the head with a club, repeatedly, until they got the message. Okay, now I'm able to poke him, and he, lacking any wand, doesn't really seem to have anything to do back. Okay, but I'm losing my mana fast. He just healed himself. Well, the good news is, I now know that the only potion that's been tried by any monster is heal. I don't know what kind of heal, but probably heal wounds, given just how much health it looks like he got back. And I don't know. I literally have no way of knowing. 
Uh, there's a Sigmund and an Ijib on the floor above me, and the floor is mostly cleared, so I'm just not going to deal with the rest of that floor for now. Not until my Mephitic Cloud is something a bit more reliable. Which, incidentally, I could try and split off for a little bit of air and poison to make it castable faster. Probably should, but right now I'm, I'm also focusing on Core Conjurations just because my own, my, my bread and butter attack is not very good yet. Flame is still not available. Oh, fuck me. What was that? Extra life gained. Hey. Hey, remember how I punished Ijib and made him use the potion? That potion just saved my life. Without having that ID, I... Well, I probably would have tried all three potions, and it's a crapshoot whether or not one of them would have killed me. That's... Three attempted casts with one success of Infinite Cloud. That was exactly what I needed at that point. Just to get the hell out of there. Okay, this is a bad. My position is being flanked. Set up a better position. Oh my god, what the hell? That was not the intended effect at all. Um, that was curing. That was exactly what I needed. That's just about... Dude, I mephitic you. You can't be unmephitic in one turn. That's bullshit. Okay, well, clearly I, should, I need to learn my lesson here and take this with me so I don't get killed again. Okay, I shouldn't say that since technically this character is capable of being killed and then killed again. So I don't get killed, period. You, come after me. One, two, three, boom. That should roughly include your square. Perfect. Meow. 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 Next floor. Two heal wounds. Excellent. I am no longer about to die. If only I had a blink scroll, a known blink scroll, I'd be pooping roses on Easy Street phrase I must admit I've never quite understood, since that is hardly what I would consider ease in life, to be pooping roses. Or hurt like the algebra dickens. Hey you guys, you're all clustered up, beat each other up for me, and then come into this hallway so that you can continue to do the same. I'm trying to keep a little cat in a net. Have you ever tried to catch a cat in a net? It doesn't work the way you're, you might think. Well, frankly, if you think it would work, that's even more surprising to me. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna let this thing chase me all the way home, and then kill it, and then... Do not get into melee with the Poisoner. Go somewhere else. That was admittedly risky. If he had gotten the double move off, 10% or so chance of that happening, he would have poisoned... He would have chased me up, and I would have been in tougher straits. But I do have the ability to heal now, so... Theoretically, I can survive a, a, a snake bite. Alright, take that potion. ID, anything. Yeah, all these potions I'm carrying would just confuse me. It's a good thing I'm not planning on using them in an urgent situation to try to... Oops. Take the wand, go upstairs. Go upstairs again. Go upstairs again. Okay, drop the wand, drop the unused rations and the blowgun. Just various things I don't want my enemies to have. Later on I might not be so anal about it, but right now... Are you serious? Fuck you, Ijib. Are you resistant to poison, or what? He's gotta be poison resistant, there's no other explanation for ignoring that many mephitics in a row. But I could have sworn I mephitic him once already. Maybe I'm just sucking with my mephitic power right now and that's... I don't know. Mephitic spell, spell power is not supposed to affect the success rate of mephitic clouds, I don't know. Intelligence and conjure flame. Nah, we're cooking with gas. Next spell, uh, oh, hey look, it's the same place I died last game. This time I'm not taking any chances. 
fuck me, it's Grinder. Alright, the good news is he probably didn't see me. He's probably still asleep. We're just gonna go here and leave. Why are we leaving? Because unless the... Oh shit, the ecumenical temple could be on that floor. I do not want to miss my Vehumet altar. Oh shit! Didn't even notice you. I was trying to move and I was like, why isn't it moving? And then I'm meleeing a fucking worm. Alright. If I run across Grinder, I have virtually no options, so let's leave a, as wide po as possible a berth of the level between where he is asleep and it's Duvessa. Hey, Duvessa, come all the way here. You I can take out. I'm fairly sure, because now I have Contra Flame. Oh, you're dumb enough to step into flames? Excellent. There's not a flame there. There is not, in fact, a flame on that square. And there isn't one there either because I just miscast. Well, shit. She had one heal, and that was all she needed to undo all of my initiation. But now... I gotcha, bitch. Oh, either way. Oh, look. It's your pissed off boyfriend. Admittedly, your rightfully pissed off boyfriend. Let's not give him a chance to hurt me, shall we? Oh my god, that's melee? Yeah, you know you're doing bad when a wizard without... Oh, well, he's using a trident. Okay, never mind. I assumed he wasn't using a good weapon. Uh, right. Back to the tunnels. Alright. I am fairly satisfied that there's only one other place the ecumenical temple could be, and that'd be at the end of this hallway somehow. Or something like that. So let's check the end of this hallway. Nope. I am satisfied it's not here. Let's get the fuck out of here before Grinder wakes up. <sighs> so we've left behind Sigmund, Grinder, and Ijib. Ijib is more hardy than usual. Uh, Sigmund I could probably take on at this point. Uh, but it would be so contingent on getting off the Mephitic before he gets off whatever he would do to me. That I don't want to risk it. I do have two lives, so risk is not something that I, I, I must be super averse to. Two extra lives, three total. You are confused. I should probably have opened with fire first, but whatever. Oh man, I took you down with just... Excellent. Alright, well now that my magic is up to 20, conjuration's up to 7, spells are becoming a little bit more castable, keyword a little bit, it's time to start training some defense skill, so dodging is good. Actually, we'll do dodging and stealth to 5, since I know I'm going to forget to be micromanaging that properly. Uh, yeah, all of those are good, well, all of those are reasonable utility spells for certain builds. Me, I'm not going to be using it, so it's fine. I want to know what my teleport scroll is right now. Uh, the rest of these, I could honestly go either way. But I want to make sure I have a teleport scroll and know what it is. Good. So, using the st store as an identify. Oh, uh, wait, am I stuck on the- yeah, the arrow trap is considered too much risk. Hmm. <sighs> Damn it. It's gonna take forever to get through these bushes. I don't understand this vault's design, honestly. It's like it's it's created to make you get into a mistake by holding down the attack key. Like, there we go. I'll let you break me through then. How's that? And I will make sure that there's maximum distance between us so that when you do get through, I can start poking you. Money, 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 money! Oh shit. Put a Condor Flame in front of me. It's either dumb enough to enter it or it's not. I can work with either of those answers, quite frankly. Another book. These are good spells. Regeneration is an amazing idea for a low health creature like me. I can regenerate quickly without needing to go upstairs if I get trapped on a floor. Repel Missiles is decent, uh, and this is a good time to pick it up, so both of these are good. Uh, order of Operations would dictate 
yeah, repel missiles first. A shroud is actually not a bad idea either for my the bonus to my melee defense. I don't know if it's uh, currently in the state where you cast it once and then it never uncasts until it's broken, or if you ca you have to keep recasting it, in which case I would never remember to use it and it would not be worth it. Not because I wouldn't remember, mind you, but because in combat when the reminder would come up... <sighs> Dude, I totally tried to lay a fire, apparently it didn't go down. I might end up saving on some cure potions if I have regeneration from all the, you know, poison curing that I won't have to do. And Lord knows I'm at a precious, precious, uh, that, that, uh, curing potions are the most precious commodity in the game. Hashtag sarcasm in case you didn't pick it up. Not really that hashtag makes any sense in this context. Ignore me! Alrighty, so where are we at? Just eat that one off the floor. We got four rations up my ass already. I don't need another. Uh, you. Youf. Okay, that's two fails. Back off. Back off. Come back. Youf. Start dropping fire freaking everywhere. That was a miscast. Okay. Cool. Got him. Making sure I haven't missed a. Wow, that's a lot of tele scrolls. Oh fuck, you're in melee with an ogre. That's a bad place to be. Yep, I have not found the temple yet. Excellent. Just making sure that what I thought was going on was in fact what was going on. Have to put that down in case the closet tries to attack. Edmund, why don't you just come after me, bro? Excellent. You walk into fires? Wonderful. I'm dodgy enough that you probably can't take me out in melee. And that's just my innate dodge, obviously, not my trained dodge. My trained dodge, I haven't done training for much time enough to be that confident in it. You know, we're going to drop one of these meat rations as it is probably obstructing my ability to carry non-rational stuff. Actually, we're going to do anything on this floor that I should know about. D4, no, D5 is nothing. Good. We're going to test all these scrolls real quick. Noise, unknown, that's a blink scroll, that's a valuable one. Magic mapping, no idea. Enchant weapon, no idea. No idea. Unholy creation, jewelry curse, enchant weapon. Try out these potions are too. Okay, I think we're good. That should uh, do quite a number on my weight, and we're going to go ahead and double check the Book of Minor Magic, but I'm pretty sure, yep, we've got everything I want out of it, so I'm going to drop that here. Spatial Translocations, I might change my mind on Galubria later. Enchantments, uh, cause fear, no. That's going to require more hex training than I'm willing to commit. So, ditch enchantments, war chance, I might end up taking Shroud. Okay, there we go. I can always come back for those books and all, it's just, you know, what am I going to carry with me and what am I going to free up for wait for later. Always cognizant of the fact that I might be trapped away from my books at some point when I need them. Wait, there we go. You know... I almost, I mean, I don't care about my summon at all, but it's kind of cool that it's still alive. I'm used to it being dead a lot faster. Ooh, I spoke too soon. No way it's going to survive this. Okay, it went in there and just beat the crap out of them by the looks of it. All of them had darts of dispersal. Wait, they all had darts of dispersal? Oh, I can't throw darts. So, fuck it. I don't need them then. The blessing and curse of playing the Felid. You don't need to worry about equipment, but you can't you benefit from it either. Uh, that's going to be painful as balls, so let's drop a Condor Flame. It's basically ignoring my Condor Flames. So we're not going to get into a fight with something that can ignore my most dangerous attack trivially. Yo, die. 
Give me a book. Nothing of note. I mean, I'm sure there's some decent spells, but nothing that I generally like to use or that fits with my playstyle. Prince Ribbit is down. That's the fifth point in stealth that I promised I'd turn it off at. Sif Altar right here if I want to take the, the, the immediate path. But no, I'm going to hold out on my per on the god that I prefer for this character, namely Vehumet. Hey, didn't have to hold out long, did I? Here, Veh, have my service. And also, there's my amulet. Yeah, when he's done giving me the uh, the gift of conjurations, I'll probably take it off before even he starts, uh, before even I start working on, you know, the gift of the top tier books. I'll probably take it off before he even starts working on the gift of the top tier Grand Grimoire. Because I, well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll wear it throughout. We'll see. If I find a better amulet, I'll actually have to make a decision. Otherwise, Piety Gain is an easy choice this early on. Since I'm going to be heavily reliant on him for getting my next first damage spell anyway. Pay more good fortune. Are you serious? Stay still. I'm miscasting repeatedly, and that thing is faster than I am, so let's just get out of here before bad shit happens. Come at me, bro. Here. There you go. Take point and strength this time. It's going to be a while to my next level up, and a significantly longer while to the one after that. I'd rather not be at low strength that whole time. I mean, I'm going to be at low strength, but, you know, no strength. Ah, kill the Blork the Orc. Honestly, the way I'm thinking of it is I can afford to lose one point of strength now and still have enough carrying that I can keep myself alive comfortably. In terms of... Oh, shit. You. This is a bad place for me to fight you. I want you in a hallway if I'm going to fight you at all. You're stepping into fires on purpose. And now, you're stepping into confused clouds, and more fires. And then, more confused clouds. <sighs> Jesus Christ, you just refuse to take serious damage, don't you? Alright, so the boulder beetle wins, I lose. I do not have the potency to take it out. And at least, and it probably can kill me if it gets a good headbutt or two in, so, or headbutt in good position, so let's just not wait for that to happen, shall we? Next floor. Mine, fuck. Okay, that was not the scroll that I wanted to use. For scrolls of Immolation, by the way, in the new edition have become actually fun items. They cast Inner Flame on all creatures with an LOS. I don't know if there's an MR check or not. I assume there is. So the result is that if you kill any of those creatures, they explode in a giant fireball. And um, this can chain so that they will then trigger their the guy next to them, assuming that they get the killing blow, etc, etc, etc. So suddenly it's a tactically interesting weapon because if you're put in, if you use it in a situation where you can't get away from the exploding fiery bodies, heh, good luck surviving that. But shit. There we go. Mana regen is key. There's a boulder, be boulder beetle at large on this floor, so I'm not trivially uh, fighting the iguana trivially. I'm going to get my mana back first. Now I'll fight you, because I can get away from a boulder beetle if I have to. Next floor. Uh, try... Whatever. Poke, 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 poke. You know? Ah, shit, there's just no way to... It just fucks you no matter what you do, huh? Just 
don't go away and don't go to words. One of them is going to be. It just walks through the flame. Fucking hell. Okay, well, it's dead now. Ah, Conjure Flame is such an amazing spell. It has so many hangups to make it work, but that's because if it didn't, it'd be broken. If you could cast it on top of enemies, it would be the most broken tier 3 spell since Mephitic Cloud. And Mephitic Cloud isn't broken. It's just that without it, the whole game would break. Or at least my whole game would break. I right, just confuse it. Fail to confuse it. Yeah, you got it. And it walked away from the fire not to work, so just run away. Just run away. It's a troll, it'll be at full health. Yep. And you will be running for your life again. There we go, that should kill it. Trolls step onto fire, but they are smart enough not to do it forever. I think I gotcha. Gotcha. Excellent. New spell, or new scroll, nothing I want to forget yet. Uh, we're good. How are we doing for spell casting? Contra Flame, very castable. Blink, not castable. Spell Power. Magic Dart is finally maxed. Okay, since Magic Dart is maxed, we can now move to Trickling Conjurations. I do want to get Translocations online for Reliable Blink and Charms online for Reliable Repel Missiles. We will turn off Dodging when it hits the uh, 7 to facilitate this growth. We're always leaving Conjurations on, though, because I, I, I want that power to constantly build throughout the game. Boom! So that, you know, when I do find my next tier Conjuration, or I'm gifted it the same, it is effective. Alright, that's a floor. Not sure what I can't explore, but whatever. Uh, hey, there we go. Let us memorize Swiftness, because it is one of the best spells in the game. At least in this edition. Not so much anymore, but still. And this is Book of Air, so it should have Lightning Bolt. It does. Tier 5 Conjurations of Air. With that knowledge in play, I now have two air abilities. Repel Missile Swiftness and the Desire for a Third. So we are going to drop... We're going to drop Dodging right now and put Air in instead. Just to try and assist as many of my skills at once as possible. I'm probably not going to train it all the way, but at least a little bit would be nice. Now, I should let you guys know, I hate uh, Lightning Bolts and, uh, oh my god, three Cure Mutation Potions. I'm invincible. Uh, Ring of Evasion, drop the Amulet of Stasis, off every potion that isn't a Cure Mutation. Ah, I'm a feral cat. Shamurai, pizza cat. Who do you call if you want a nice pepperoni? The Shamurai, pizza cat. Alright, drop the cure mutations. Leave them hanging around here. I need all my other potions. Because now, even if I happen to get degeneration, I can cure out of it. Rot can cure out of. Restore abilities can get me out of, uh, whatchamacallit? Temporary stat loss. And if I get, uh, oh shit, that may be more serious than I'd anticipated. Alright, well, here we go. Let's see just how low I can go. Perfect. Survive. Yeah, and if I happen to uh, get mutated, which is the only really dangerous outcome, I can unmutate myself now. This is going to be really bad if I get caught here, so let's be careful about this. I need to pull one enemy. Anyone is fine, just only one is key. Draining my strength is a truly dangerous thing for me right now, since I have so little of it to begin with. It's honestly part of what went through my mind uh, when I took that point in strength was that if I'm dropped to 3, I should be able to function. Whereas if I had been dropped from 3 to 2, I just wouldn't have been able to. That shadow is going to be nigh invincible uh, to my current spell ca as casting, so I'm just not going to fight it. Definitely drop your restore abilities. So you can come back for it later. Uh, I don't want it to break on me. And what's this new book of mine? Transmutation is not my cup, cup of tea with this character. Not enough health to be tanky. I'm going to melee. Forget health, not enough tankiness to do melee, and transmutations often benefits from a good melee. I 
Hey, idiots, come here. Big fish in my small pond. Ah, shit. Break line of sight with all of them. Get them confused. And I hope that they still wander you up into sight so that I can take them out. Interesting level design. I don't know if I'm going to kill that guy, but I can try. Got him. Excellent. Alright, that leaves... There's still little enemies here and there, but whatever. Yeah, we're just going to take these guys out too. Nope. Okay, that's cool. I don't mind, uh, there is technically more experience I can milk from that level, but I'm not that interested. Uh, this is going to be enchant armor or enchant a wand, so let's use it on something that I will never m mistake what it was. Since there's literally no way this game in this game I will ever be able to use those those scrolls productively. Well, again, treasure trove, it's a possibility. Though I will admit, I oh shit! Take out the necrophage first. I can't pull you just yet, so I can poke you instead. There you go. Lightning bolt is now very castable. As much as I don't like it, it is probably the best option. I also don't have the spell levels for it, and I'm training a lot of schools right now. So here's what we're gonna do: repel missiles and swiftness need the most work. Uh, Blink needs very little work. Fitted Cloud is pretty much spam castable. So we're going to turn off charms, put on spell casting. That's going to help with all spell schools a little bit for the 2 to 1% that's left. And uh, it's also going to give me the extra spell levels I clearly need at this point so that I can start hitting the next tier of spells. Definitely won't repel missiles up right now. Since that seems to be either an axe for turning, or this fucker just has a lot of axes at his disposal. Dude, you're not dying. Now I'm just meleeing him. Because I do have enough health to tank one orc hit, probably. Ordinary orc hit without significant orc weaponry. Boom. Oh my god. Okay, well the same cannot be said for the Goliath Beetle. I'll tell you that right now. Lots of nom noms there. Lots of wonderful nom noms. Grab my gold, pull Goliath, 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 Goliath. Hey, Goliath Beetle, I've got a plan for you. Come with me. Where are you? Seriously? Okay, my stealth is way better than I'm giving it credit for. I want you to follow me down this way. There you go. I know you're slow. But I always assumed that was just your speed, not your mental mental state. There you go. Got you behind the door and burned you up. Uh, charge them down and then repel missiles. Boom. Gotcha. Being able to almost completely ignore early game spell hunger is a wonderful, wonderful treat. I'm not sure if it'll hold up all the way through the game as corpses become rarer and spells become more and more hungering, but we'll see. That nausea, without nausea, I'd be perfect. Oh shit. You're not gonna make it, bro. I gotcha. Quaff it. Oh, there we go. Int plus one, AC plus one, 10% MP bonus. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's why I play mutation roulette. Sometimes you just get lucky. That 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 was a good set. I have almost as much MP as I have health. So yeah, I'm not going to be carrying mutation. In fact, I'm going to be very very hard trying not to get more mutations that would force me to cure out of this. Only way this could have been better is if it was a uh, HP plus ten instead of MP plus. Ah, uh, let's do one of these and one of these and then one of these. Boom, takedown. Blink should be good by now. 
Link is excellent. Translocation no longer needs to be studied. Charmed does, though. I don't know why we turned that off. So, turn it back on, please, just for a little while. Samurai Cat's Potion of Paralysis. Yeah, Cure Mutation is already identified, so I'm at no risk of accidentally unmutating myself from these wonderful mutations. Boom! Uh, come at me, bros. Fire. Fire. Okay. Ah, Blink! self mephitic I don't care what, just get away from the goddamn threat of the instant death by bees. I stepped on a bolt trap. Do I have any means of instantly not dying? Thank you. Really needed that. Wait, what the hell? Where did my... I thought my HP was, like, down to 1, and now it's up to 30? Did that heal potion do more than 20 points of healing? Well, whatever. At least it didn't do less. There we go. Uh, my charms of air are the only thing that is lacking at this point, and once they both hit four, I will turn them both off. Well, I'll turn at least one of them off. Uh, you confuse and shit. Run. Just run. I'm I'm clearly being swamped. I need to escape. Uh, everybody here is confused, including myself. Good. I am just going to hit the teleport button any second now. Uh, nope, I'm not. I can't cure out of my own confusion. Now I'm going to hit the teleport button. Excellent. Okay, that area is a death trap. I need to find a way to clear it out more securely than I'm doing right now. Shit. That's at least two really strong works. One with good health and one with good nuking power. There we go, got them both. It's so nice to have mana. That wand of lightning, yeah, let's make sure that that doesn't get used again for a while. I know I can't use it myself, but I can make damn sure nobody else can use it against me. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, look, it's Psyche. You know, I don't think I've ever been killed by Psyche. I may have been abyssed and killed once by Psyche at some point in my crawl career, but yeah, I don't think I've ever actually been killed by Jessica or Psyche. Ever. Jessica, I'm actually fairly confident that one time she almost killed me because she had every possible advantage and she still couldn't pull it off. Hunger, none, 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 and three charms and air. We're just going to continue bolstering conjurations, honestly. At this point, that's just the best move. Spell casting doesn't really need to level unless I'm still looking for spell levels, which I am not. Do I have amnesia anywhere in the dungeon? No. Okay, so if I wanted to get those spell levels back, what would I have to give up? Flight, shock, and lightning bolt. I'm perfectly okay with all of this, so that's fine. I'll just destroy this book when I'm done. I mean, I failed. Alright. Yeah, because the moment I get a better spell than Lightning Bolt, I'm going to be all over it. But Lightning Bolt does very... It's not good for single target damage. It's good for the fact that it hits multiple enemies and can potentially double zap. But that requires a lot of luck slash positioning work. Which sometimes you just don't have the luxury of. Sometimes you do. Sometimes, though, you get to kill multiple centaurs at once. Like that. Oh, shit. Okay, well, there's a lot more than just multiple centaurs on me right now. There's multiple, multiple centaurs. So we're going to get nice and far away and recover mana in the corner. Then we're going to go back after them. In fact, since I know for a fact there are centaurs, this would be a good time to... Yup, repel missiles is on. Confusion is on. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Jesus Christ. With repel missiles still hitting. And of course it's hitting like a truck. 
Thank God I needed to take that thing down. Ah, humbug. Uh, let's go back this way. Okay, now that we've cleared out the edge, the southwest is a safe retreat point from this cat uh, this web of this maze of death here. Pull the bees towards me while blocking off at least some of their paths towards me, and then there. One. Oh, who cares? Just fire. Two. Alright, now just get out of here before things get confusing. It's a zombie, so it will retain all the damage I deal it, so let's make sure there's a lot of it. Stealth is a wonderful thing. Oh, <laughs> magic dart was all it needed to push it over the edge. Excellent. I wonder what this could be. Potion of magic. Yeah, you know, maybe I shouldn't waste these potions since I really don't have any other use for my identify scrolls this game. There's really no reason not to identify every last one of them. Now, what else am I going to identify? My armor or my weapons? I guess my jewelry, technically. But half of that can be where I need anyway. It's Okay, my magic dart actually hurts quite a bit. Uh, repel missiles is the first step. Repel centaur, also known as death, is the second. Alright, manticore on the scene, backing away. Activate repel missiles for the spines. Confuse. Boom, got him. I got the Bolt of Lightning to double zap on top of him, so two for one, and that was sufficient to be lethal. So yeah, that's the thing about Bolt of Lightning. If you want to play the game, if you want to play even more energy into occasionally being able to deal cool extra damage, it's awesome. But then it misses, too. It's not like it's it's a bolt, and therefore it can miss quite a bit, so... Of the bolt spells, it's not my favorite. But when you don't have a different tier uh, to spell, anything is better than nothing. Boom. Okay, where did you spawn if not here? Okay, that was weird. Those things generally... Maybe I didn't let it live long enough to spawn a colony. Sucks, because I don't get the M EXP, I guess. Whatever. Uh, on we go. There's a vampire mosquito, so I'm looking for an opportunity to create a good beachhead for it. It's a basilisk. Nope. I failed at creating a beachhead. I totally walked through my own fire on purpose, because I really wanted to be in the right position for this. And I lost a tele scroll to do it, which I did not want, but whatever. It was a risk. Drop a confused cloud and wait. Drop a confused cloud and wait. Make sure I'm swift myself. Drop a confused cloud and wait. So, Gastronok is clearly not going to be confused. Um, my best bet against Gastronok, I suppose, is lightning bolts in a narrow hallway. The only reason I'm risking it, because he could kill me in one shot if he gets a lucky shot, but I have extra lives, so he won't get a lucky shot, most likely, and if he does, it's not like it's game over. Then again, it's not like even... Oh, shit, okay. Oh, well, that was not my plan at all. To be caught off guard. Oh, shit, that's a dead end. I'm making full use of my stealthiness. Why don't you come after me now, bro? Yeah, seriously, come after me now. You walk in fires? Excellent. Gotcha. Double electric zap. 
yeah, this was a thing. I was anticipating getting his awesome hat, forgetting, of course, that not that despite being, despite the fact that I have a head, I can't wear a bloody hat on it. it sucks. Well, I don't get my hat on. I don't get my hat on. Hey, you, come after me. Fire. Lightning. And see that? It hit all five of them, but none of them took any damage because it didn't actually land on any of them. Fucking bolt spells. Alright, well that was a pretty nice clusterfuck I left behind. Hopefully somebody will get burned or punch each other to death or something. One of them's gonna see me. Holy crap, and they didn't see me for a long time. I need to make sure that you get out of my head. Okay. I can technically run up this staircase and get away. I think I should. I, I'm probably going to regret that. I mean, I, I don't generally use red staircases, but think about it. I was getting pushed further and further away from my safe retreat on a wide open floor with multiple fast-moving enemies that could technically have enough da damage to poison me to death. No good reason to... You just jumped over the fire twice, you dick. There you go. Walk into it this time. See how you like it. Okay, nothing of note. Ignore. Hey, you. Come at me. Excellent. Drop two meat rations on account of the same logic as before. They are heavy and take up space. I don't really need that many. Yet. Ah! Uh, oh my god, is that... Okay, no, okay. That looked for a second like it might have been a Bailey entrance or something that I was just missing out on. Orcish or flame, etc. Oh, snap! Early lair. No, wait, this is D12. Okay, I just have been playing longer than I realized. Late lair. Come here, next to the deep water, that you might have a 1 in 8 chance of drowning yourself for me. If not, I will just electrocute you to death. Whoa, what the hell hit me? Priest showed up off screen when I wasn't paying attention. Boom, and then just run, eat, come back. Easy takedown, trying to find that priest again. Drop a couple of fireballs. Damn it, I screwed that up. Oh well. Screwed it up, but not enough to make it not work. Uh, that troll might be an issue, so let's give him a long way to chase me. So that I can get into a good position. Here we go, this is a good spot. Excellent. Oh wow, you're not training a defense skill? My bad. Definitely fix that. Shit. Slimes. Where there's one, there's always more. And fire walking is only so effective against them since if you try and melee tank, they become super slimy. Easy electrocute. Boom. It's not that I've forgotten that I have a bolt spell. It's just four mana for one po or five mana for one potentially failed shot is something that's not always a, an easy sell for me. Ah, shit, see, they became super slime. Now I can't take them on. Swiftness up. And you know what? Let's just do this and electrocute them. And I don't care how many bolts it takes. If I can thin out their numbers a little, excellent. Fiddick on your face. Nope, can't. One glancing blow from one of them dealt me half my life as damage. I dare not put myself at that risk again. There we go, excellent. See, I can afford to take half my life as damage when I'm at full life. Not when I'm at half life, then it becomes lethal. Ah, fuck me! It's an imp with a wand. I hate those fuckers. 
Get into a position where I can zap you, please. Not you, the imp. Dude, the imp seriously lose interest in me that easily? There you go. Much better. Yeah, I straight up lightning bolted it back rather than risk getting started. I'm going to stand on the wand so it can't pick it up. And I'll pick it up myself for the same reason. I don't know how many chargers are left and I don't want to find out. Alright, well we are getting very close to a lair retread. Oh shit, it's a manticore. Run away. And this is really how my playstyle goes. I, I I will be beating up on the weaklings and the mediumlings until I see an ultraling, and then it's suddenly it's like, run for it! And then you take the time to set up a repel missiles, fire conjuration, mephitic cloud trap of some kind, kill it, and then, once you've recovered, you go back to picking at weaklings with, with pitiful spells until eventually you survive the early game. I'm running low on food status. Let's see if I can't get... Shit. Goldfish hit hard. Call them... Something that sounds a little bit less pathetic. And you know what? Stop dodging me, you dick. Alright, well, clearly I'm having a hard time killing a shark, and I'm running out of food doing it, so eat a ration and just ignore them. Hear that? That's all unapproachable right now. Done. Next. Lair. Just implies a minotaur. Let's, uh... I don't have magic mapping, so let's just go looking for it then. Uh, right, another useless thing. Do I have any new jewelry? No. Not all this time. Fair enough. There we go. New jewelry. Levitation. No interest in that. Um. Kills all around. Excellent. Hey! Wouldn't you know it? Minotaur's Labyrinth. Should I be worried about starvation? Nah, I have multiple rations. I'm fine. Says he as he walks in without waiting. Ah, why did I sign myself up for this? I hate the Minotaur's Labyrinth. Oh, but this is a good place to ditch this one that I don't want anymore. Five bucks says I get to the end and there's literally nothing I can use. Well, no, there's going to be at least one ring. Probably an artifact uh, weapon of some kind. But if there's an artifact ring, that'd be perfect. I even have an empty paw, so even if it's just a basic ring that I can use, I'd be happy. We are training good stuff. Yes, we are good. Trickle into fighting from now on too, by the way. I kind of want to increase my health to 50. Leveling up helps much more with that early on, but it's a multiplication thing, so you do need both. I found the black. Clearly there's no way around it here. Let's try to continue probing towards ways that might reach the black elsewhere. I have been told that watching me do the Minotaur's Lair is incredibly frustrating. To anyone who says that, I could not agree with more, because uh, I'm the one doing it and it's frustrating. I can't imagine how much more annoying it would be to be powerless but, and watching and, 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 and doing it. If they one day nerf the Minotaur's, not nerf, eliminate Minotaur's Labyrinth and turn it into some kind of Minotaur-ish encounter, Maybe with a slave girl you need to save or something like that before the Minotaur destroy, uh, kills her. Something, you know, like that. An invisibility-based challenge or something weird. I'd be all over that. Hell, if they replaced the Minotaur's lair with a sacrifice two rations to receive random goodies, I'd do it. Even though it takes me way less than two rations to complete, typically. Okay, we got him confused. We've got him burning. <coughs> And uh, I nearly died, but I didn't in the end, so that's good. Holy crap! Okay, I think they they heard me bitching before I got here, because they gave me a lot of stuff. Much of it not being actually terrible. First things first, we're going to eat the Minotaur in its entirety. Then we're going to see if there's anything else I want to take. No. Uh, then we're going to read all the books. Useless for me. Useless for me. 
potentially useful, but pretty useless. Dig, dig is something meaningful. Holy crap, it's a dodge manual. That made everything worth it. In fact, you know what? Turn turn off everything else for the moment. Just master my, my dodging right now. I have a plus four to dodging and a plus four on top of that for the manual. And I'm small. This is going to be wild. Torment and uh, something else of, un of no use for scrolls. Okay, well that was very informative. Uh, because I'm in a good mood, we're going to ID some of these scrolls, which I already know are useless, and put on this ring. Hey! Plus four int. That's nice. So definitely a good haul. Uh, nothing artifacty, but plenty of good stuff that wasn't an artifact. Did you just not follow me after you didn't know where to go? I didn't get poison resist, which is something that I'm... Is, frankly, it's very difficult for a Felid because it needs to be poison resist ring practically. And that's uh, rare. But yeah, but I got the uh, the manual of dodging, and that alone, even if there had literally been no other items in there just that, I would still have been incredibly excited. Because that's going to mean my defense skills are double what what I should have any right to expect. Double. They're going to be advancing twice as fast as uh, as they might ordinarily have, and they're already. Once, and that's twice again twice as fast because they were already pretty fast compared to most races. Alright, more takedowns. Excellent. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, drop a fire zone and polish off the croc. Fire, I should have opened with fire, not with lightning bolt. Here, on the other hand, did it, it went off? It went off good. The longer I can keep the hydra, nope, that'll hit me. Seriously, it just dodged that. <laughs> Dodging skill just gained two levels. Excellent. Yeah, I'm pretty soon my evade ring of evade plus three is going to be so meaningless and superfluous that I can replace it. I'll probably still wear it since evade rings are one of the best things you can put on your paw in general. But we'll see. If I have to make room for something else, I can. It's, it's more what I'm getting at than anything else. Once again, that spell list. Anything cool that I'm not paying attention to? Nope. But we'll eventually need to do some spell casting training just to get some more spell levels under my belt. But that's not that's not here yet. It's not where I am yet. Ah, killing you all is so much fun. Watching you bleed and die. Taking your bodies down one by one as they ascend unto the sky. Excellent. Potent potables. Okay, let's drop stuff I don't need. So these unidied scrolls can go. The uh let's take a look at these books. Dig is something I might want. No, it's not. If I ever want dig, I can come back and get it. Clearly not interested. I do want regeneration. May need this when I want to destroy it to learn something else, but I'll come back for it if I <laughs> that's the case. I think I already have one of those. Wait, 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 wait. Cold bolts. Uncle Zobus. Nope, never mind. Not interested. I do. I don't mind the idea of going Ice Mage, uh, or at the very least picking up Freezing Cloud. I think maybe that's what I should do. It's not Ice Mage, but Air Mage. For a couple reasons. Firstly, it's not my typical play style, and it's always good to experiment, and you never know when you'll discover something that you like, or that is way better than you ever gave it credit for. Case in point, I thought that stabbing was the dumbest idea ever until I tried it, and I was like, wow, this is actually very viable and a lot of fun, as long as I do it my way. 
I even came around to trying to spring in enchanters and, and realizing they're not as miserable as I initially thought, but no, I still prefer my wizard. Alright, just running away. That was a lot of death, and no need to add one cat to the body count. Shit! Stop too soon. With any luck, the bees will kill each other. Blink, burn. You walk into fire, you're gonna get burned. Uh, strength or int, strength or int, strength or int, strength or int, strength or int. One more point in strength and then call the quits. Heh, <laughs> I just got an AC buff. Such a trivially small AC. Wait. Shaggy and warm, did that booster my, bolster my cold resist? It did. Interesting. So small AC buff, but also resist cold. I'm fairly positive that wasn't in this game before. So that's a really nice touch, since it's really difficult for fields to get resists. Uh, I mean, where are they going to put them? Their, their ring slots and their amulet, and that's all they've got, right? And reflect how often you've only found uh, just the most the, the more generic... Oh, you know what? You guys don't have hands, so there you go. That angry buzzing must have been from attacking the queen. Okay, you know what? You guys can dodge lightning bolts. I'm not going to bother with lightning bolts. And I know you can dodge lightning bolts, so... Yeah. You know what would be really effective against them? Airstrike. Yeah, you're wasting your mana whenever you run one of those lightning bolts. Don't bother doing it anymore. I can eat honeycombs as a cat? That's interesting. I just assumed that honeycombs were vegetarian and spriggans eat them. And I'm a carnivore. Can't eat bread rations or anything. That's, that's very strange. I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's a feature or what, but... Ah, fuck me. Just run, drop a fire zone, hold him in the fire zone. How are we doing for evade? <laughs> Wonderfully. How's that manual coming along? It's still being studied. When the manual runs out, we'll probably turn off evade in favor, or tr at least put it on to a slow trickle in favor of some skill that will benefit faster. Just to speed this up, I lightning bolted the sheep a couple times. You know, slaughtering sheep in front of a deity's altar and not dedicating them to the deity is pretty bad form. It's like living in Malaysia and eating the oranges out of the uh, people's worship box thingies where they dedicate oranges to their deities. Ah, oh, fuck me, I didn't mean to let that get into melee. Let's get out of there. Swiftness is on, there's a naga on the screen, and I have very little that I can do to it. Most likely I have woken the Naga with that lightning bolt. Pull. Link. Takedown. Let's check the... I want to check the Naga, but as long as they keep offering me other targets... There it is, I saw it. Uh, I don't want to risk trying to pull it because of constriction. <sighs> Hopefully... It, nope, there are multiples. This is bad. Deflect missiles is a must to potentially prevent some of those bolts of poison from hitting. Get a couple confused clouds up to thin the herd and pull. Don't know how that second spiny frog got here. Perhaps there are just two of them. Okay, excellent. Pell missiles before you go in. Pull. Blink, blink, till you have a good position on this fight. Fire. Oh, right, it can go around fire. It's not a moron. It's just bold. Big difference. Alright, next floor. Hell missiles. Lightning bolts. Spam them. Good. 
Bam them. Good. I only have room for a couple lightning bolts before I have to run away, before I turn into stone, because there's a basilisk on the screen. Hunger is not even an issue. I'm I'm going to ignore corpses at this point. If I need to eat, I have plenty of rations. Of course, if there's free corpses and there's nothing else to do, I'm not going to not eat. It's just sometimes you're tempted to try and run towards a body to get corpse benefits. Right now, I need to be much more focused on survival than what I can accomplish via my corpses. Hey, come here. I do love that dogs die to cats when I'm running the cat. Oh, fuck. It's painful, and it's going to be semi-immune to my... Oh, but I have lightning. I was about to say it's going to be immune to my uh, zone of fire, but I have other options. Off we go. Poke. There's no way to avoid this guy's gaze here, so let's just kill it. That would cost me a lot of mana with lightning bolts, but it was totally worth it. I can think of a few things that would be more certain to kill me than... Poor, poorly timed paralysis on this floor. Excellent. Why don't you all come towards me? And then I will electrocute you all at once. Light the wind goes out and poof, I'm gone. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Regeneration is still not available. Dodging is still being trained. Manual is completely used up. Excellent. So, dodging can go off pretty much forever. <laughs> uh, we're going to buff fighting and conjurations for the time being. And hell, I'll throw spellcasting a bone and give it like a few more points. Come at me. No, keep coming at me. I want you here. If you don't step into fires, I will punish you. If you do step into fires, the fire will punish you. Ah, shit! Fire is a must. Um, hitting the wrong guy. Let's back off and get that MP back. How did you lose so much health? Oh, no, don't target yourself, just regenerate. Oh, hey, wouldn't you know it? God Gift. And it. <laughs> I already own the first four spells, but I really want the last two. So here's the, the, the deal Ice Magic is a minus two penalty, Fire Magic is a minus one. I could technically make the argument that I should hold out for Fire, but I can think of four or three compelling reasons to go Ice instead. First, I don't do Ice very much. Second, it has much higher mid game utility, which is where my cat is most likely going to end up dying and therefore we're most desperately needing to power up. Third, minus two is not horrible when you consider that most of what I'm training is zero or or positive. So it's okay to have one negative skill I'd say. Except that's all conjurations, but whatever, just ignore that. And uh four, vehement assistance means that I'm going to be able to uh cast it sooner anyway with more reliability. So, screw it, I'm gonna go uh, the ice route this game and try for Freezing Cloud. Uh, any Amnesia Scrolls? No. Conjurations of Ice and Air would be Freezing Cloud, uh, which means training Conjurations of Ice and Air is, is, is the way I should go right now. Well, you know what, let's, let's let it sit for just a little bit longer. Let that sort of simmer. I have other things to do. Oh shit, that's a repel missiles, confuse and back off. Just back off. Up, oh, that's a painfully powerful Komodo dragon. Let's uh, find a place that we can potentially get a double zap out of it. There we go.
Do 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 Repel missiles is obviously a must. Confuse and then back away. Keep that repel missiles on. Oh, what's that? An elephant slug? And god knows what. Alright, that's dead. You are so gonna die. How much can you handle a firewalk, bro? Do you even lift? Repel missiles is on. Confuses off on. Oh god, all of them! Wow. Uh, if I had fireball, this would be so over. If I had any good follow-up, this would be over. But I don't. The best I can do is magic dart because these guys aren't even going to care if I use lightning. Up. Oh, that's another one that's unconfused. So recast confusion repeatedly. I'm risking my life by fighting these guys here, but I have a couple to spare. And I'm never. Pro I'm probably not going to get this good an initiate either. Again, where all of them were li literally all of them were confused. Now I thought I saw a dragon among them or the f the Drake, but it could have been just the shadow of where the Drake used to be, the same one that I killed. So I'm not too worried. We'll see. Okay, I think that's the floor, and I think we drew Swamp and Snake. Excellent. So while poison resistance would be wonderful to have. Uh, well, actually, there's no if or but ends or buts about it. I I kind of need poison resistance to do snake. Swamp, on the other hand, is definitely better than shoals for me. Much better. Another elephant slug. Why don't you just come at me, bro? I got a nice little fire walk set up for you here. I'm going to continue working on spell casting. Abilities and training. You know, yaks are weird. Sometimes they step onto fire at full health, and sometimes they studiously avoid it even at full health. <clears throat> Instinctively put on Pell missiles just in case, but proved to be unnecessary this time. Drop a couple fire zones. Oh oh, I got caught by the stoner. The basilisk, of course, is what I mean. Mercifully, everything that would have hurt, killed me was incapacitated. <clears throat> Let's do the fire zones all around it to take it out. Where do you think you're going, sir? Oh, nice. So between Vehomet's return mana on kills and uh, reduced spell casting costs, my five mana uh, lightning bolt tends to cost me three or less. There we go. That's a very hefty amount of fire for you guys to dance around. And if you somehow manage it, I will be trying to shoot you guys anyway. Excellent. Yeah, with my dodge as high as it is, I had a fairly good chance of avoiding my own shot there. Although it was still an unnecessary risk completely. Alright, you know what? I don't have sublimation of blood to get man out of chunks with, so... Although I should really consider it. I mean, the annoying part will be having to constantly wield new chunks, but I don't have a weapon slot. Assuming Sublimation of Blood can be cast with chunks held in my teeth. And the Necromancy can also work for my cha uh, charms and my regeneration skills. Ah, don't, don't multitask too much. For the moment, focus on uh, getting your cold damage up, but yes, that's a cool future thought. Don't focus train the 14.7 conj, please. Just slow train it. The limiting factor right now is definitively uh, my lack of spell levels. Hey, there's a scroll of amnesia. I just missed it. Excellent. Uh, 
Every time I do this, I expect to lose the game because something will come up from behind me and kick my ass. Okay, so, what to forget. Lightning Bolt is the most obvious choice. It's my biggest, most therefore my most spell levels back. I would rather have Ice Storm than Lightning, or Ice Cloud than Lightning Bolt, uh, in terms of mana efficiency and, and eventual training. And I can re-memorize it if I really want it. Well, I sold myself on that pretty fast now, didn't I? Okay. Right now, the most important thing is going to be to get this castable. So, focus on things that are going to help with that. And ice is the primary determinant right now of why it's not very castable. Since my ice skill is fairly lacking. It also puts me in a strange situation where I actually, for a little while, lack the resilience of a tier 2 spell altogether. There you go. Stay in the fire until you die. Ice magic up, and it's up another 8% castability. Excellent. Let's give it a try, see what happens. Put it on my preferred cloud spell. Perfect. So, actually, this is a powerful enough spell. It's actually very good in Snake, too, which is, uh, which just happens to be the branch that I drew. If I was playing a serious game, this would probably have been something I thought about more and made up my mind about to go ice specifically because of that. But the, the, you know, weighing the short-term benefits versus the long-term costs of not being able to get ice storm up nearly as easily. Wake you up, move you a little bit. Uh, you know, I want the elephant to wake too. Where's the elephant in the room? There you go. And now, miscast. Okay. With that, we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Excellent. Pull. Blink. Swiftness had better be up. Uh, there's no way I can survive if they come at me there, so we're just going to run and then do one of these and one of these. And one of these. Where's the elephant in the room? Oh, there it is. You're not coming at me? That's fine. That's fine. Boom! Ice chases you anyway. Blink. Or not blink. Pull. And yes, there is a technically a risk of losing my life every time I pull, but as I'm so fond of saying, I've got a few to spare. The risk isn't high enough that I, I, I can't attempt at what would my evade of 35 and my natural evasiveness from being such a small body. Okay, Freezing Cloud is now much more reliable, though obviously it still needs to be focused on. Both for its damage purposes as well as for further reliability in my main spells. Oh, I mean, I didn't realize I was in the Ice Cloud myself. How many potions did I lose? Magic and heal wounds. Fuck! That was bad. Uh, confuse you though, and then with you nice and confused. These miscasts are actually costing me pretty big. I just lost a potion for my troubles. It's cool though. It's not too long before I can get that under control. Oh yeah, have I found another amulet to wear? No, I have not. Okay then, I guess faith it is. That was a miscast, a painful one. It's nice not to be so flooded by magic contamination after one or two miscasts on account of the fact that I'm not trying it with like level 9 spells right now. I'm just pushing my luck with a level 6-er. Poke, swift, drop me a fire zone, and start dropping ice everywhere. Excellent. Fire zone, ice everywhere. 
you just straight up walked through the fire without taking- I hate when they do that. They get the double move, but it doesn't register that the squares in between. It's a double move, not a blink, you asshole. Uh, drop ice on top, and then back off. Seriously? Oh, they just submerged the tricky bastard. Uh, submerge this asshole. Drop another ice cloud. That's the whole pool. This is part of why I was so eager to get ice cloud online fast. It makes my job so much easier than my mephitic cloud plus conjure flame combos, which, while effective, are effective be are effective with a lot of intense effort and require a constant ability to retry every time things don't work out. Also, Freezing Cloud is just a better choice than Fireball, since Fireball would cost me a lot more mana, and I have no real way of regenerating that mana. Save the Humet channel. Oh, sweet. Block your fire with my ice. You still manage to get through and fire at me. At least I didn't lose any scrolls. How we doing? Cast ability is consistently improving. Trickle my way into some fighting skill again. I'll let you guys come at me. I think that is mostly that. Don't you ca mice know that Ocat always wins? Seriously, when's the last time you've heard of a, a rat killing a cat? That would have been embarrassing if I actually died there. Uh, let's go upstairs and regenerate really quickly. Oh, hey, look, it's somebody else who wants to die to ice clouds. And of course, it's going to be ice clouds. What else would it be? Blink, ice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop being a moron. Don't trade blows one for one. With magic dart versus lightning bolt and you have no resistance, just do that. Okay. I know what's behind that door. It's going to be a room full of powerful creatures, probably worms, that can't get out on account of being stuck behind a, a single tile of land where the door is placed. That's fine. I can totally deal with them. Just need to get to them past this fucking fish. Okay. Swiftness, just in case. I have failed to ice correctly. I succeeded in icing, but the door is now being blocked, so I can't actually do my original plan of locking them in. I will instead drop a second ice zone and then just get the fork brought out. Whatever manages to get out, I will deal with. Oh, hey, I got a god gift for my troubles. And probably enough food to replenish fully my hunger status. Oh, there's still a living thing here. Whoops. Let's fix that real quick. Okay, hunger status replenished. Paperback book. Isekundrun's Mystic Blast. Orbit Destruction. Poisonous Cloud. Iron Trial. Okay, all these are good spells, actually, so. I still have to wait on the Book of Annihilations, I guess. What am I. Are you happy? Alright, uh, Ice Blast. Problem with dodge tanking. You look like you're doing good right until you get hit. Good thing about dodge tanking with a Felid. That doesn't mean you die. 
just lose a life. That's all. Down a floor. Ice blast, because I suspect, yep, there are multiple slimes here. Excellent. That should just about finish them off. My god, you guys are dumb. It's almost like they're mindless. This floor would have been so incredibly hard without Ice Cloud, though. I can picture myself running and kiting at first with lightning bolts and then being reduced to letting them all out so that the entire floor was flooded with them. Drop them ice clouds all over the place. Excellent, 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 excellent. Now I do want to try an experiment before I forget, so let's drop a potion of Berserk Rage, which I don't anticipate really ever using, and then freeze it. The potion does in fact shatter. So, dropping an ice cloud will damage potions that are sitting on the ground, therefore do not use this if you're trying to recover loot or something. Eat everything. Eat everything. Alright, level up. Oh shit. Tell you, Conjure Flame, good to the last drop. Uh, see, right there is a time that I would have used a uh, Freezing Cloud, but instead I'm forced to reposition because I don't want to lose that potion. This, on the other hand, is an easy takedown. Store abilities, new amulet, ID it, it is rage, new scroll, it is silence. Alright, any quaffables I'm missing out on? Nope, okay, on we go. Uh, easy ice target. And it ran away, making it less easy than I'd hoped. I'm a cat, I don't eat cheese. What the hell? I, oh, I, I guess I do eat dairy. So I'm not a carnivore in the traditional sense of the word. Just eat the cheese. Alright, I think... I think that's it. The real test is can I take out a Black Mamba after having gotten confused by my own miscast twice? The answer? Only because I have a Curing Potion. Without that, this could have gone much, much worse. Oh, manual. No thank you. Traps and doors are not worth it. Alright, and that's this floor complete. So uh, we're going to call it the quits here, but I did want to say that this is uh, the recovery of the last character, uh, since that video didn't record properly. At this point, I'm at least as far as I was then, so that's a good thing. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, this one's going really well. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys.